Hey guys, it's Fonz. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a favorite. It's just a quick disclaimer. If this looks at all familiar, I just filmed another video. It was like a get ready with me trying out new makeup. Everything was super affordable. So I will link that down below if it's already up. If it's not, then it'll come when it's ready. <laughs> but for today's video, it's going to be my favorite. Um, this month is a little different from my last month. So my February favorites, I had a lot of things that I was excited to share with you guys, but that's really not the norm for me. I normally just have a few pieces here and there that I'm like, I realize, okay, I'm using this a lot. I'm using this a lot. Let me put it to the side and make sure I tell everyone about it. So this is more like that. <laughs> so there's not a lot of stuff, but I have a few different types of some of the things I want to share. So we're going to get started with that. Um, yeah kind of random too but that's okay <laughs> so the first thing I want to share with you guys is kind of a trend you might like it you might hate it but they're dad sneakers they're the chunky dad shoe and I like them and I don't care that I like them um, I actually have two pairs to show you so I'll start with this one first when this trend first started to be a thing I was like oh no that is not for me it just reminded me of like your old school like my elementary gym teacher and like those chunky sneakers he would wear but and then I found these and I was like oh I'm kind of into it like they're these aren't any major brand I'm not like a really big sneaker person I have a pair of Vans I used to live in Nikes like the Roshis that was it that's a sneaker head as I get okay <laughs> like I'm not a sneaker person so when I do find sneakers I always get like those really kind of affordable fast fashion brands because I just it, it's not the thing I invest in so these are by the brand Cupid with the Q and oh, I really like them and so they're mainly white right and they have the mauve and they're gray I wear this with a lot more than you'd think which is also really interesting because I normally would only be like okay I'm only gonna wear white or gray these work in a lot of outfits which is interesting but another pair that I have I'm out of breath <sighs> okay another pair that I have are these which are so oh. I am obsessed with them. If you know me, these are a little dirty, so I'm sorry I didn't clean them. I'm not even gonna lie, I low key feel like Katie talking about sneakers on the channel. <laughs> okay, so these are by the brand Cape Robin. I actually found these on eBay. I am obsessed with these. These are things that are like low key, like kind of Balenciaga inspired because they're like sock sneakers, but they're everything and they're leopard print and they're fun and you have the chunky heel but they still look really cute and because they kind of are like the sock sneaker they just uh, they like go on smoothly and like form to your foot so it's not as overwhelming as this like all the chunkiness is at the heel which I also really like I've been wearing this with like all black outfits I think I want to try it with like I kind of been dressing it up I don't know I'm really obsessed with these if you guys want to see how I style it I think I want to do a styling video soon because I don't really do many of those <laughs> but I'm obsessed with these I always find a way to wear them really cute really comfy really cash yeah dad sneakers these I got off eBay they're around $30 those other first pair I showed you I got them sell. So they're around 10 so first favorite out of the park I'm gonna stick with more of like the fashion-y stuff so okay Here's the next favorite. This I haven't had for that long this month, but they are a new pair. They're jeans. Now jeans have been something that I've been like struggling to find the right pair because I'm short and I'm kind of thick, but I like high waisted and my torso is short and I don't know. It's just kind of been a struggle for me to find. Oh, and I've been really wanting distressed jeans, <laughs> but it's been a struggle to find jeans that fit well and have all of that because if they're distressed, sometimes they don't stretch enough and all of, <sighs> if you know, you know, it's been really annoying. So. I was out with my sister one day and we saw these jeans. These are by the brand Cello. You can see the slight distress thing there. Distressed on the end. I did hem them. We did a slip stitch. That way we can bring the hem up a little bit. But I'm obsessed. It doesn't say what style of jean it is on here. But I know it's like the dynamic super stretch. Something like that. Um, and we actually got them on sale. I don't think I'm going to be able to find a link for it. At least from the place I got it. Because it's from like a local store. And they don't really have a chain or anything like that. But if I can find these jeans, I'm pretty sure they have a site. If I can find them, I'll link them down below. They were really inexpensive for me. Well, my sister got me them. <laughs> but they were like 15 bucks. So really nice, really stretchy. And also for this like lighter, I don't normally opt for darker washes. I just think they're a little bit more slimming. But these look pretty good on the tush. And 
they're light and they don't make me feel like super pudgy so next favorite out of the park kind of felt like gg gorgeous there so my next favorite is something that i've kind of had for a while but i've just noticed that lately i've been wearing them more and more and they are these sunglasses they're kind of like the celine glasses but to be honest i'm way too rough with the glass like the most expensive glasses i own are from key and that's where i kind of cap it because i always used to break them and lose them but they're like celine inspired glasses i actually get these in the city if you're in the city then you know there's always those tables where you can just buy a pair a few pairs of glasses so that's where i get them but it's just for me to show you guys the style because i'm more of an aviator type of girl but i'm obsessed i've been wearing these out all the time and i'm just like who am i because i normally don't oh yes bitch once you put on a pair of glasses i just kind of sort of feel like that bitch but these are the ones i opt for the most they're kind of like the ombre tortoise ones yes we're here for it i feel like i mean business in these but I've also been liking these more taupey light gray ones because they look so cute with those first pair of sneakers I showed you guys. This summer, bitch, I am ready. <laughs> so, yeah, I've really been liking these. Kind of random, but I've just noticed I've been opting for these more than any of my aviators, more than my keys, which is a shocker because I try to wear those often. But, yeah, I really like those. This is a Milani Bold Matte Liquid it's not a liquid it is not a liquid i said that three times now this is the milani bold matte lipstick you got it right it's in the shade i am pretty this is a swatch of it right here but i'm also wearing it on my lips it has been one of my new favorite lipsticks i haven't had it for that long it was my sister's she got it she tried it on she didn't like it so i got it <laughs> but i'm putting it in this favorites video because i feel like this is the first matte lipstick matte nude anything that i like that isn't Dolce K because if you know me Dolce K is like my favorite like I I don't care if, if you don't know what's on my lips it's either Dolce K from Kylie or it's um, ABH naked it's usually those two but I feel like this is like a nice in the middle because it's not as nude and it's not as deep as Dolce K so yeah and it's kind of weird my that was my stomach if you heard it <laughs> it's kind of weird because I'm not used to using regular lipsticks like I feel like the last bullet lipstick that I liked was probably Velvet Teddy from MAC and this is like kind of my shit so yeah, I like it I like it um okay so this is a cleanser I feel like I always have some sort of skincare to add in here but this okay I don't think it's shown that much on this channel yet but my favorite like all-time favorite skincare brand is Peter Thomas Roth I don't know what that man does but he just nails it on the head for me every single time this is the peter thomas raw i should say what it is right this is the peter thomas roth water drenched cloud cream cleanser it's supposed to gently remove your makeup and impurities but it has hyaluronic acid so it draws water vapor in and it just keeps leaves your skin super moisturized i have oily skin but i feel like my skin doesn't produce as much oil when i'm using this and you want to know something really interesting it has coconut oil in it and it does not break me out just crazy I have the big bottle now it is four fluid ounces it's the big boy when I like something I don't mess around but I love this it just leaves my skin with like a super nice glow it looks healthy it looks clearer it looks brighter I've used this with the facial brush which I think is my favorite it's best to use it with your hands and I've been using it with my hands lately but I still want to get a new facial brush but I I don't know it just makes my skin look so nice so glowy so gorgeous so healthy so dewy even when it's like nothing's on it I don't know I'm just a fan and y'all know I have dark spots on my face and I feel like this kind of also helps to lighten them so I rented on about that one a lot but I really like it <laughs> so the next item I have or it's kind of like a system but I'm only only brought out two because there is a lot <laughs> the next thing I'm going to share with you guys is actually hair care I'm usually somebody who cares in the way that I use products, not necessarily what the products are. I just feel like if you have a good routine, you can kind of interchange the products that you use. But my sister has been using these and I've been seeing such amazing, like crazy fast growth in her hair and then the health of her hair and she won't stop raving about it. So I bought it and now I'm low-key hooked. So these are the Vita hair growth products. I only have the shampoo and conditioner here, but on the website, which I'm going to do my best to add links to this video. Um, just since it's not that much <laughs> but um, 
yeah they have different systems so you can get like the four step system I bought the five step but I only have two of them here because there's a lot <laughs> um, but this is the second time I've used it I usually wash my hair every like one and a half to two weeks so I know for some people that's like crazy but that's just what works for my hair and I don't like my scalp also gets really dry so I don't like to wash it that often so the minimum I'll wait is a week so I'm not really breaking the bank here um, but yeah I just really have been liking it I noticed that when I was using all the products and I washed my hair out and then when I was like straightening it my hair just felt soft in a way it's never felt soft before I don't know how to describe it because I'd like to think that I'm someone who has pretty soft hair but it just felt like I don't know it was like my hair felt really full but it felt light it wasn't like weighed down or anything I don't know like I look so stressed right now <laughs> I don't know I just really really like these products I use them again and I'm still playing around with it because I need one of the other I have a mask they have like two masks two different hair masks that you could use and I have the one that you used before you shampoo I don't have the one that you can use after so I might pick that up but I really like it if you go okay I don't know if this is like a New York thing or not but if you get wash and sets a lot if you use these products and you blow out your hair you feel like you just got a wash and set which is like the most amazing <laughs> feeling in your hair and it low-key smells like you just went to a Dominican salon too so I'm here for that and now we're almost done so yeah this one is kind of like a food item and I'm not ashamed I freaking love Bustello, okay? I listen, listen. I have a lot of friends who would only like only have this cloth. Well, I don't have a lot of friends in general. I'm not a big people person, but I have friends who would only have this coffee in their house. And if I was over there and I had a cup of coffee, I'm like, yeah, that's good. But I'm such a Starbucks horse, I didn't really care. Um, I was like, yeah, it's good and all, but like, I'm gonna still go to Starbucks though. Um, and I don't know what possessed me to buy this coffee. I've been drinking this coffee like months now. But the reason why it's now in a favorites is because I went back to Starbucks. Because I get the ground coffee and it hasn't been hidden the same way. My favorite from Starbucks is a blonde roast. So I had my favorite. I added my syrups. I'm a, like a little barista. And it just hasn't tasted as good as when I used Bustello. Now I will say I have this one in the can. I kind of like it better when it's in, it comes in like a big block. I feel like when it's crushed and it just smells like the aromas, it's so much better. <laughs> but yeah, I like this. And yes, I have a backup in my, not a backup, but I have an extra one in my kitchen that I may have already opened because it was in the block and I wanted that one instead. But I can't even smell it even when the lid is closed it's just so good it's a coffee that like if you like coffee that tastes like coffee you'll like it I know a lot of people who don't really like that in their coffee they don't want it to smell or taste really strong like coffee but if you do you need this you need this I have one more item to show you guys this is actually a lifestyle thing so I feel like for a I don't know if it's just a me thing or what but I feel like a lot of people may like yo-yo when it comes to working out and being healthy and stuff but this is one time where I feel like because I yo-yo too but I feel like this time I don't know my mental clarity is a lot better I'm more determined there's birds chirping <laughs> they stopped yeah my mental clarity is just a lot better and I'm like so much more serious about it I've been working out like five days a week using what I'm about to show you and it just I already noticed subtle changes obviously I'm watching what I eat too but not as much as I should not as much as I should and I'm still noticing changes so this is bomb it's called turbo jam you get five different workouts in here this is like the basic one I have other DVDs from them and it's like maybe just targeted towards like butt and legs or and stuff like that but or just other forms of cardio but it is so fun it's so upbeat it has like really good music I feel like people make at home workout like at home workouting they make it seem like so weird and taboo when you work out from home but I freaking love it I used to work out at a gym but I have so much more fun doing this and actually I have two friends who go to a gym and I was gonna join them but then I was like oh let me get my cardio back up before I join them and then I do this and I'm like oh fuck that I'm not going to a gym because I just have so much fun at home um, I just want to share the two workouts that I do in specific so they have something called cardio party and they have different mixes which 
is brutal. It's about 45 minutes of just straight cardio. You're doing punches and kicks, squats and shit, but it is like intense and I love it. Like I'm drenched in sweat and I freaking love it. Um, that one, I'm like really, I take pre-break off for that one, okay? So I'm like, I'm doing it, I finish it, but it's a struggle. But the one that isn't as hard for me is called Turbo Sculpt, and you use weights. I was using two pounds, I moved up to five, and you just you do a lot of lunges and squats, but you don't go as fast that way, you really feel it, and it works out your whole body. And I just feel really empowered and really amazing. And then when I'm like dripping and sweat, I'm like, oh, yes, I'm that bitch because <laughs> I finished it and it's so good. So, if you just want to know what I I mean, you probably don't care what I've been doing because it's not like I'm super skinny yet. But I do two days of the cardio party mix one, two days of the turbo sculpt, and in the middle I'll do one of the other ones. They have like an ab workout, they have a quick 20 minute workout, and then they have like the basics where you learn how to do all the different moves in there, but I shouldn't have thrown that there. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I know everything else I showed you was like kind of more light and fun, but this is something that makes me feel a little bit more awkward because who really wants to talk about their weight right but i really do like doing those dvds and i feel like i just feel so empowered especially when you do certain punches i'm like oh yeah oh <laughs> don't mess with me okay hello now you can see my pajamas the secret's out let me scroll back down <laughs> so yeah that is my favorites i kind of like having fewer favorites to share with you guys just because I feel like I can talk about them more in depth um, if you have anything that you maybe want me to try out or if you've been yeah or if you've had something that you've liked speak slowly Fontaine let me know leave it down below I want to try it out because I like to spend my money pretty much so <laughs> yeah yeah I like this um, like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one